Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is the first lecture in economics. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about what is economics. Economics is a science of scarcity, as many people believe that economics tells you how to meet with your unlimited wants, with your limited resources. This science was introduced by Adam Smith, who was a Scottish economist and philosopher. His very famous book is about the wealth of nations. The actual name of the book was An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of Wealth of Nations, in which he inquired, like, you know, why these countries, different countries, accumulate wealth and how they grow and why their difference exists between the countries, like, why some countries are rich and why some countries are poor. In economics, we discuss very different issues, like, say, for example, why there exists inequality in the world why there is a gap between the payments or the wages that people get, the male and female, black and white, and similarly like you know, native and the foreigners or immigrants. How climate change is affecting the economies all over the world? What is meant by free trade agreement and how trade wars are impacting economies? How things are basically changing when there's two big countries like the US and China fight for the war, like to wage the trade wars? How robots and other modern technologies are going to affect labor demand in the labor market. And we are going, we also talk about the cost of immigration for the natives and the people who are actually traveling to the, or immigrating to the other countries. How minimum wages are set, like, and there's this, these and like many topics are covered in economics. As far as the basic definition of economics is concerned, the economics is studies human behavior. It tells the relationship between the ends and the scare means which we have alternative uses. Economics is about understanding how people make choices. Furthermore, how these choices affect the overall society. According to a general approach of economics, individual decision makers weigh up costs and benefits of different actions and choose the one that benefits them the most. There has been a war between the wants and resources we have. We generally have got very limited resources, but we want to achieve a lot of big things with them. Like say, for example, a person who can barely afford a bus travel dreams for the air travel. A person who can afford simple clothes just dream for the designer clothes. Similarly, the people like you know, who can afford a simple dining in a simple hotel always wish for having a big dining and in a big hotel, in a five-star hotel, say for example how this actually like matches up like the things that you have and the things that you want in your life this is what economics is the basic about there are two ways the economics thinking basically you know like explains things economics can be a positive economics and a normative economics the positive economics is a branch of economics or a type of economics that tells what do people do it depends on objectives that people achieve on the other hand, the another type of the economics is a normative economics that tells what people should do. This is about kind of a morality. What should be the things, basically? What is, is a positive economics? What ought to be, is a normative economics? It is subjective and it depends on the notion of the welfare of the society. Like, you know, what, how do you want to see the society? Like, say, for example, the positive economics tells you what is the unemployment rate in your country? The normative economics tells what should be the unemployment rate in your country? The positive economics tells what is the poverty rate in your country. The normative economics tells what should be the poverty level in your country. Similarly, the income distribution. Similarly, all other issues that basically are affecting the people. So what actually is the economics? Economics tells you how to make decisions. And why do you have to learn to make decisions? Because what you are facing the problem is that you are facing a problem of scarce resources and limited wants. You have to choose the use of your resources wisely. You have to choose the use of your resources in a good way. For that, you actually have a, to make decisions. Like when you use your resources at one place, you cannot use your resources at the same time at some other place. Now, a household and an economy may face different kinds of decisions. Like say, for example, what kind of career should you pursue in your life? Because if you spend all of your energy and your money to pursue one career, you cannot pursue the other career. Similarly, this is also an economic decision where you should put your ailing mother. 
Should you be just keeping it at home or should you be putting it in a nursing home? This is economics. Is This is what economics is all about. You and your spouse already have two kids. Should you have a third one? That is an economic decision because when you have a new child, you have to bear his or her educational expenditures. You have to raise him or her. You have to just like, take care of him. You need money for that. That is an economic decision. Who will work to earn? Who will be staying at home? You know, like this is a firm decides about the quantity of goods and the methods of production. What is the right price at which a firm should be selling its products? The first lesson of economics is that there is no such thing as a free lunch. The first lesson of economics is scarcity. It means that we cannot get anything for nothing. The management of society's resources is important because resources are scarce. Scarcity means that society has limited resources and therefore cannot produce all the goods and services the people wish to have. Now, what is the implication of the scarcity? The basic implication of the scarcity of the economic doctrine of scarcity is that there are not enough goods to satisfy the desires of all consumers at a price of zero. You have to decide who has to go to the college and who cannot go to the college. You have to decide and you have to just make some kind of criterion that on the basis of which you decide who has to, who can buy clothes and who cannot, who, can, who have to go without clothes, who can buy food and who cannot buy the foods. Like this war basically all the economics. Because there is a scarcity, you cannot provide food to everyone. You cannot provide clothes to everyone. You cannot provide housing to everyone. You cannot provide cars to everyone. So what exactly is the life? The life is all about trade-offs. We have to make a trade-off. The time that you are spending on listening to this lecture could be spent somewhere else. What is the value of using that time there? The cost of something is what you gave up to get it. You are paying some cost to listen to this lecture. You are not sleeping. You are not working. You are not doing anything else. You are just listening to this lecture. You are spending some time and you are giving up this, like, you know, the cost. As far as the branches of economics is, are concerned, the economics is divided in micro and macroeconomics. The microeconomics is the branch of economics that deals with the functioning of individual industries and the behavior of individual decision units. Like the decision making that is made on an individual level is studied in microeconomics. And the decisions that are made on the macro level, on the country level, like say, for example, how the government decides what to, how to do, decide about the expenditures, what to do and what not to do, this is macroeconomics. But at the micro level, at the individual level, the decisions that are made by the individual household actually are coming into the domain of microeconomics. In the first lecture, in the second lecture, we will be discussing about the microeconomics and the microeconomics in detail. And we shall be learning that what kind of decisions we make in microeconomics and what kind of decisions we make in macroeconomics. So please follow us and just keep in touch with us 